Hey everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the wedding budget breakdown from my wedding in September. So if you didn't know I got married, uh, I'll add a little card here. Uh, I think it's on this side, one of these sides, it'll pop up there. And that is my overview of the details and all that and how it went. So if you're interested in that, go check that out. Uh, this video is simply just breaking down the budget. I found that those who broke down the budget on Reddit, it was so helpful to me to be able to see what a wedding would look like before I started. <laughs> so I was able to grasp how much it was going to be, which they are expensive. Um, I actually feel like we did pretty good and we tried to keep it under 20K, but you're gonna see where we <laughs> ended up. So, here is the wedding budget breakdown. In the comments below, let me know how uh, your wedding was, if you had one, and how the budget was for you. If you are in a different state, what does that look like? Uh, so I am in Las Vegas, so I'll be sharing prices based in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas. There is inflation currently, so that could play a little bit of a role, and also, we are uh, dealing with, I made most of my reservations for the wedding in 2020, so it's a few years from then. Let's go ahead and start off with the wedding venue. For the wedding venue, we ended up spending 4,500. This is gonna be obviously one of your pricier ones. It was what we spent the most on. Uh, so it's for the space for eight hours. And then we also got tables and chairs included with that. Uh, and then I rented a few things like easels or uh, I wanted to do the planters from the ceilings. So we did that as well. So that includes all of that. The thing we spent the second biggest amount of money on was our food. And we wanted to do this because obviously food is very important. People want to be fed and they want to eat good food. Uh, so we did do buffet style. Uh, we ended up spending 3,900 on this just about, uh, that was for 80 guests. So obviously the more guests you have, the more it's gonna be, the fewer, the less it's gonna be. Uh, and we had a main course, we had a vegan course as well, which everyone was able to eat too. Um, and then had two different sides. So it was pretty good. I think I got that right. We were very happy with our selection and it was a lot of money. You really don't think about it until you get the breakdown and you start asking around. And we went with what we felt was more quality over the price point. Then next would be the drink. So for alcohol, we spent 3,500. Uh, we weren't expecting to spend this much. We actually had a prior bartender and then about a couple maybe 30 days before we had um, a little issue with licensing and all of that. So we had to switch to one of the preferred ven vendors of the venue. Um, yeah, so it was, it was like 1500 more for this one. So that threw us through a loop, but it worked out. They ended up doing really well for us and everyone got their alcohol choices. Open bar, by the way, should have mentioned that. That's why it's so expensive. <laughs> the next would be for photo and video. I decided to get, obviously we wanted a really good photographer and then I wanted to get video of the wedding as well because I feel like those are memories that you can hold on forever and it makes, I just, I love memories. For that, we spent a total of 2,500 for the two. And uh, yeah, that was actually to me a steal. Uh, if you've reached out to photographers, you know that it's very expensive, um, but in the end it is worth it because you have those memories forever. For the dress, I spent just over 1100 uh, and that was with 20% off. So I went to the Bridal Spectacular here in Las Vegas and if you go there, the place that I went to for the dress, they say that you get 20% off. So. I decided to go there and at first wasn't finding any dresses and then I did end up finding the one. After the dress comes the florals. So the florals 
were not that bad actually. They were $8.50. Um, and this is because I decided to do it myself. Uh, and I did it through a company called Flower Moxie. I wanted to go this route because I felt that it was a way to save money for one. Uh, and I can be creative, so I wanted to try and do it myself. And uh, it definitely wasn't easy, but they guide you through it. And luckily I have family friends who are really good with this type of stuff. So um, I would definitely recommend only if you have someone who you know can be of help that you do this route. By the way, that price included my bouquet, six bridesmaids bouquets, 10 boutonnieres, and I did uh, 12 runners along the table, and I did 12 runners along the tables. So pretty good if you ask me. Then we have the DJ. The DJ ended up being about $800 for five and a half hours of service. So that was for the whole ceremony, cocktail hour, and reception. Hair and makeup was a total of $775 for me. Uh, I decided that I wanted to pay for my bridesmaids makeup uh, and then they could choose if they wanted to do their hair. Uh, and then obviously I did my hair and makeup as well. And yeah, it's a bit pricey if you decide to go that route. I just wanted to give them something back for supporting me on my special day and uh, that's what I did. For gifts and favors, it ended up coming out to $6.25. So this includes the favors for the guests. I almost didn't do this because that is another way that you can save money, but I saw these mini soaps and I was like, okay, those are too cute. I'm gonna do it, whatever. Everyone's flying from out of town and it's just a nice little appreciation gift. And then that number does not include just the soap. It includes gifts for our groomsmen and our bridesmaids as well. So it's kind of just bunched them all together. Decorations ended up coming out to 430. So this included uh, different things like table runners, uh, little decor pieces I wanted to add, petals. Um, I made the arch decoration that was on the sign in our wedding. So I got some fake flowers for that and that's what it came out to. Next would be the groom's suit. So not as much as the uh, bride's, you know, dress, but the groom suit ended up being 420 and this is because uh, my husband is very tall, he's 6'6", so he had to get a custom suit. This is not gonna be how it is for everyone, but this was our experience. For day of coordination, it was about 400. Uh, this was just for the day of, um, for the help of putting everything together, then I don't have to worry about that on the wedding day, which I highly, highly recommend. You do not want to do it all yourself. Our rehearsal dinner, we did it in our backyard. We purposely made sure our backyard was done and ready for the rehearsal because this was our way of saving a little bit more money. Um, we also just included basically the bridesmaids, groomsmen, and then uh, parents and yeah, that was pretty much it. So that was our rehearsal dinner. It ended up being 310 and we have a friend who owns a company. They gave us a little discount to do catering. So it all worked out really well. For alterations in my shoes, it ended up being 310. Uh, so still a little more for, uh, you know, a little costly, but that's what it is. So when you buy your dress, expect to pay more in alterations. Mine ended up being 200 um, and that's really amazing actually. Uh, so you can expect to pay more. Luckily my dress fit me pretty perfectly. I only had to do a few adjustments and uh, I didn't even have to hem it because I'm so tall. So yeah, just expect more money coming out of your pocket after you buy the dress. Then for dessert, we spent about 250. This was another way that we wanted to save money. Um, we decided to go for a cookie table, which ended up doing really well because uh, there were no more cookies by the end of the night. And even for us, we really only got the one that we did the picture with and that was it. But overall, I'm happy everyone had good feedback about that. And I think it was fun, it was different. We did have transportation, so that ended up being 210, and for that we did 
just transportation from the hotel where the groomsmen were at. They came to us and then picked us up and we went to the venue. Everything was within 10 minutes uh, distance, but I still wanted to do that just because it could be kind of crazy organizing everyone and making sure everyone has a ride to the venue. For the officiant, we paid 125 and it was very nice. Uh, kind of last minute for this one too, but it worked out great. Uh, we got a lot of compliments on our officiant, so very happy with that. I'm going to include dog sitter in this budget. So we had a change of plans for this one. Originally we were using Rover, then our dog Rio, he got a parasite, which we think he might have got from his daycare. Um, but of course we didn't want to take him to the Rover sitter where they see dogs all the time and potentially expose them to it. At this point he was pretty much good and negative, but I just wanted to be really cautious. So we ended up getting someone else's dog sitter to come over to our house that night. And that's what it was. The last one is stationary. So I did $75 for this. I just did one invite, no save the dates. I didn't want to spend money on that. Um, I wanted to try and make our budget work. And then also I created our own invites, um, which actually, let me put that here. And I've been thinking about potentially selling templates on Etsy. So if I end up doing that, I'll put it in the description. So overall, we spent a grand total of 21120 So, whew, definitely a good amount of money. But we were prepared. We made sure we stayed within our budget. Um, we ended up spending a little more than we wanted to, mostly because of the switch up in the bar and all of that, but it ended up working out nicely. And yeah, so my biggest recommendations are to, uh, Reddit is very helpful for budget tips and figuring out how much it is in your city. Uh, I use that so much. And then also uh, I used Wedding Wire to try to find vendors that worked for me. I recommend reaching out to multiple and seeing what works best for you. Well, I think that is all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to let me know your experiences in the comments below. I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and bye!